This is another one of the new question types, technology enhanced items you might see on the National Registry. Our job at Limmer Education is to help you get through these. I'm Dan Limmer, let's take a look at this question. The concept of the option box that you see here basically takes things on the left and wants you to categorize or classify them by checking a box on the right hand side. So this one says, predict whether the physiologic responses are more likely to produce hypotension or hypertension. What we're really doing here is looking to test your knowledge of core pathophysiology. And this is what the National Registry really looks to do is get a little bit deeper knowledge here. And again, there's no partial credit for these questions. So let's look at these, go over the pathophysiology, see what it's gonna take for you to succeed on questions like this. All right, the first choice, pressure on the carotid sinus. We know we have baroreceptors there, they're pressure receptors. If I put pressure on my carotid sinus, if my shirt collar is too tight, if I shave or if I push there, it's gonna send a message to the brain and say pressure is high. That'll get our parasympathetic nervous system to slow things down, to reduce the pressure. That's gonna to lead to hypotension. Intercranial bleeding, we know when there's pressure in the brain, part of Cushing's triad is hypertension, right? Why do we have hypertension? We have to feed the brain. There's a lot of pressure in the brain. How do we pump blood against that pressure? We raise our blood pressure. Intercranial uh, bleeding is gonna give us hypertension. Now, administration of a beta blocker. Well, if you know beta blockers can be used to treat hypertension, you may correctly go for hypotension but a beta blocker slows the heart. That reduces the cardiac output. Cardiac output is a component of blood pressure. So therefore, one of those two ways will hopefully get you to the correct answer, which is hypotension. Increased stroke volume. Stroke volume is the amount of blood that gets pumped from the left ventricle with each heartbeat. If we have increased stroke volume, we increase the cardiac output. If we increase the cardiac output, one of the components of blood pressure, the blood pressure will go up, leading towards hypertension. And finally, decreased vascular tone. See how this question really requires you to know pathophysiology? So you're getting a little patho review here as well. Decreased vascular tone. That means I have less squeeze in my blood vessels. Therefore, my blood vessels will get bigger, right? Increased vascular tone makes my blood vessels smaller. Decreased vascular tone makes them bigger. If they get bigger with the same amount of fluid in there, it's going to reduce the blood pressure, bringing me towards hypotension. Now, our questions give you the ability to check the answer. And of course, we're correct here. We can see by the green that we did well. We have a, a rational answer here, basically telling you what I told you here. These elements right now are available in our emtreview.com and paramedicreview.com. We're working on getting these into all our products. Our job is to not only help you pass the test, we want you to understand what the test is gonna be like. We wanna represent what it's gonna be like when you sit there giving you this experience now so you'll succeed when you get there.